Welcome back. Well, here we go. We're all set to get the uh, Stuka all finished up. So where we left off, there were a bunch of gaps, some puttying I had to do and all that. That's all finished. I've filled in the gaps. I've sanded it down. And now we have painted it with, um, first I gave it a base coat of uh, surface primer. So it's self-leveling surface primer. Then I gave it a light coat of aluminum, aluminum, or however you want to say it. So the whole thing is coated in a base coat of aluminum. Now, what we're going to do is apply some chipping. I want this aircraft to have been used and chipped. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the salt method. So what I have here is coarsely ground salt. So it's all different little sizes and you know shapes and we get a nice little old brush and some water and basically all you do is you figure out where your chipping is going to be so pilots will walk along this area and we'll just add a bit of salt here like so If the pieces are too big, just knock them off. Just and push them around to where you think chipping would look best. Add a little bit more here. There we go. And you just brush away whatever you don't want. I will, there's my nice soft dry brush there. There it is. I'll use a nice soft brush that has, it's totally dry. We can brush away some of the larger pieces that we don't want. Like that. Now let's put some up here. right along this area now you can go in and get a little bit with your brush like that and tag it on now what's going to happen is when this water dries the salt will stay then when i paint over it we will have an area where the uh, oh, aluminum has been protected so when i finally get rid of the salt you'll have chipping that will show the base aluminum of the aircraft. We're gonna do some chipping on the wing it leading wing edges. This baby has seen some seen some things. And just coax it into place. And it makes it nice and random, really. I don't think we'll chip much farther out than the outer winged light there. Hmm, didn't want to stick, so we'll just do it the easy way. Boop, boop, boop. Just like so. Let's put a little bit on the, uh, the wheels here, the gear. Put some nice chipping on the front of the gear there. Use an old brush when doing this, so you know you don't ruin one of your nice ones. Now I'm only chipping in the areas where it would make sense for there to have been traffic. So, in other words, these little panels here are generally the pilot walkway. And it's a supported area on the uh, wing where you, know, you can put some weight without doing too much damage. 
so that's why we're doing right up along there because these pilots would have scuffed up the paint with the boots and this is really a nice simple way to do some nice chipping work now I use a good amount of water so that when I sprinkle the salt it'll stick so you don't have to be shy with the water at all now you'll see this is all drying now so it's pretty much staying right where I tell it to be now let's do a little bit on the bottom don't want to overdo it now no one's gonna leave their plane in a completely decrepit state but you know sometimes you just don't have to do time for a full paint job so we'll just add a little bit on the edge of that cowling like I said go ahead and uh, use your dry brush and get rid of anything extra you don't like I think that's gonna be plenty so we're gonna let this dry completely and then we will come back and we will start painting see you in a few minutes hey all right so now that the salt Ooh, we'll be so prison further there. Now that the salt is all dried, it's time to go ahead and give it its base coat of its primary color. All right, so let's just get to work right on that.
So, we have got our aircraft covered, painted. Now you'll see, when I was masking things off, the tape started to pull away some of the salt already. But let's go ahead and finish that up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a soft brush here. Uh, I think that's a good one. We're gonna get some water on it and basically wipe away the salt. Just like that. You can see how I got nice random chips in my paint. Let's do the wing edges here. And there we go. We got some nice chipping effect going on there. Not bad. I'm happy with it. Now we got to replace our pilot and our prop, which came off during the painting. But for now, we're pretty good. Now, the next part will be the underside, which is a light blue. And all that, that weird bluish gray that the Luftwaffe used. And I forgot that I shouldn't have chipped underneath here because I'm still going to paint it. That doesn't matter. We still got some salt chips left. And you know what? We could do a little bit of sprinkler dab painting to make some scratches. So not a problem there. So we're going to do the underbelly and then the tips of the wing and then the yellow stripe on the nose and tail so that's next um we're gonna stop for today right here as i try to lose my pot my gunner we're gonna stop for today right here and come you know let this all dry and i'm gonna give it a coat of um lacquer so it stays nice and solid and uh I got to clean my airbrush. <laughs> so anyway, great work. I think it's really turning out pretty nice. I'm enjoying it. It's not turning into a complete and total disaster like my last project. So uh, as always, uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate that. Um, my page is growing and that's really kind of exciting. So uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them in the uh, comments below and uh, until next time keep on modeling okay you guys have a great great summer I'll see you real soon take care